Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today we do a little bit of fixing. Um, the first thing we do is up here we add a cheat button. So whenever I click on that, I have access to a lot of gold and also a lot of loot. The first thing we fix is um, the fact that when you used to click here, it would show the menu either way. So it would show the not enough log menu even though we do have enough. So we fix that. It's a really easy fix. We also fix the fact that uh, the gold was not updating up there. And now it does, so say I sell something, we have a different amount of gold. Um, what else? We did fix something else. Oh yeah, the maximum scale. So in case one of our stats is at the actual maximum, and we were to run an ad or play the game, then we would get a out of range exception, which we did fix in this episode. So guys, without further ado, let's keep fixing that and uh, let's get started. Alright, so last episode we tackled some bugs inside of the actual menu scene, so this scene. Um, this time we're gonna go right into the hub scene, so we're gonna do that uh, like this. We're gonna go from the menu, then to the hub, and then finally to the actual game scene. Game scene is a place where there's a lot of bugs, so we'll stay a little while in there. But as for the hub, um, we're gonna be fixing four of those bugs today. And let me just show you what those bugs are really quickly. It's uh, the fact that the gold is not updating whenever we're in the stats, so over here, that's right now, that's my stats. Um, up there is the gold, and if I do something, right, say in the uh, reward add gold, so I give myself some gold, then I go back, the gold is not updated, and I manage to actually break my game here because of another error. But uh, basically, the text over here is not being updated. Oops. This text is not being updated, so we need to do that whenever we boot the menu. Not the menu, sorry, the ob object menu. So we're going to do that. We are also going to fix a little bug here. When Whenever we convert something, even though we do have enough rocks, it's going to pop up the menu. That's a simple fix. What else? Um, there's also some errors we get because I have one of my skill that is max. And sometimes we get a out of range except, uh, exception on the array. Like over here, if I boot this ad, I go back, we get a array index is out of range, which is definitely something we can't afford in the real game because it breaks pretty much everything else. And the last thing, that's not really a bug, but the last thing I'd like to do is actually create a cheat button so we can have access to uh, a lot of resources without actually playing the game, which is going to help us debug the game in the end. And uh, you know what, we'll actually start off with the cheat button. So I'll go over to my hub scene, that's my hub scene. Right click on the UI root, create a new button. Where's the button at? Oh, over here. And then I'll just anchor it at the very top left. Give it a width of say 100 by 100, it's up there. And I'll just remove the text, call this cheat button. And now we're in the hub, so I'll go over to the hub manager script. And we're gonna create a simple cheat function really fast. Let's go at the very bottom of our thing, and uh, I'll just do a public void cheat. Inside of the cheat, I will do a for int i is equal to zero, as long as i is smaller than the tower. That instance, let's start with the currencies. Currencies.length i++. And for every currency, we'll do the tower dot instance at currencies at the index i is equal to 999999 why not all right let's copy this over one more time this is going for the this is going to be for the loots so instead of currency we just replace that for loots and maybe a little bit less so let's do that all right let's plug our cheat button to our cheat function so over here i go on the unclick drag and drop my hub manager in there find the cheat function and we should now be able to cheat good times let's get in the game and actually test this out really quickly um, object of type pop-up manager has been destroyed so that's another bug for later but let's just go and do that really quickly so in my game I have no resources I click here I should have resources however it's not going to update and that's totally normal um, it's not updating because there's actually no way to gain loot in this 
actual scene unless you actually press on those buttons, which is what I'm doing right now just to unveil how much of everything we have. All right, so here it is. We just managed to cheat. Um, we are going to start by fixing this bug. It's a really simple bug. So say we convert some silk to planks, we get this error. Now we can fix this by going in inside of the um, loot menu, I think we call it, loot menu container. Oops, nice, my model will just crash. Good times. Let's head over to the loot menu container and inside of here we have the convert function. Now if the amount is above 10 we do blah blah blah, now if it's not above 10 it's going to call this. However, with the logical flow of this um, code, it is still going to call this when it's done with the if statement. So we either put a else or we put a return in here. Both are going to work. I'll just go with the else statement. So I'll just do that. And this way we already fixed that problem. Did we now? Let's just make sure. Go over here. We convert stuff and we don't get the error anymore unless we don't have enough, which is in this case true. All right, so that was an easy one. The next one, let's do the um, the actual out of range exception. So you see over here, do we have our stats? I'll go inside of my stats, and I I need to <laughs> I need to actually boost one of these stats to 200. So that might take a little while of clicking. So I'll just pause the video and come back. And now I'm running out of gold, so I'll go ahead and just sell some unicorns. Shouldn't be able to run out of gold if I just sell my unicorns. There we go. Alright, so here we are. We're about to hit level 200. We do not get any error when we do that, and that's perfectly fine. Now, if I try to do another function, or if I try to boot the game, this is what I get. I get an index out of range exception, and if we double click on it, it is going to point me towards this. Level, we know that's 200 for the damage, but the level value array has only 200 slot as well. But it's zero base, so we're trying to access the 201 index, and that's not going to work. So what we'll do is we'll just put a simple check up here. We'll do a if, um, if level is equal equal to level values array, at the index, say, well, actually, not at the index dot length. If that's the case, we'll do level is equal to level value array dot length minus one. That's simply going to be our check at the end. And by doing this, we just clamp the array um, from just going out of range, and that's good. Let's actually do the same exact thing for the price, though, because the price is similar, and we use it at another place where it could crash. So what we'll do is just take the level index up here as a parameter and we'll say if level index is bigger than price value array dot length then it's equal to price value array dot length minus one. And this way we just fix two of our really annoying bugs. And let's see, we still have the pop-up manager thing that I need to fix a little bit later on. I just don't know how to reproduce reproduce it a hundred percent of the time. But I'll find out. So let's actually let's actually go back here, have a look at our stats. Yep, it is max. If I run this now, it's not crashing. If I run this, it's not crashing either. If I start a research, that seems to work. Now if I go into game, we haven't broken our shooting mechanic. Right. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Back to the actual menu scene. Um, the last thing I'd like to fix today is this gold oh, over here. So just to make sure we see it properly, what I'll do is actually just reset the save. Then go into game and um, we need some resources really quickly, but not too many. And we should have enough with two loots only have one right now. There we go. So that's our goal up here. We can see it. Available goal is a hundred. Now if I go to um, the loot container which is up there and I sell something, so I sell all my silk, 
then it should be 300 in theory, but it's still 800 up here. And that's what we're going to fix. Now, the way we're going to fix this is by just implementing an additional script. And uh, I'll just let you know how this works in a moment. But first, what I'd like to do is actually head over to the hub object. Now, under the hub object, this is the actual script that controls every single menu. So if we just have a look really quickly at, uh, say, which one are we trying to modify? We're trying to modify tower stats because that's the one that has the, um, the amount of gold. That's the one at the very bottom left. So that's the one we're trying to modify. It has pretty much a waypoint, a menu, but it also takes care of the actual menu on it. And what we're going to be doing to that is we're going to add a function to it. So a public virtual void, and we're going to be using uh, inheritance here because the other, the other objects, the other ob object, they don't really need that. So we'll do a public virtual void on show, if I can type, yep. So on show and inside of the on show, let's just do something like debug dot log showing space plus this to string. And now I'll go inside of the fade menu function and I'll just say if show, then it's called on show. Now this way, if I go back in my game using the preloader as always, oops. If I'm clicking on the menu, it says showing war table, now showing share center, showing abilities, showing whatever this is, research, and loot, and showing tower stats. So they're all pretty much just showing their own thing. Now this function, I need to call it, but from somewhere else. And that somewhere else is some places I'm going to be creating right now, actually. So we are going to create a new script, and we'll call it hub object tower stat. Now check out what we're going to be doing. It's fairly simple. Go at the very top of your script and instead of inheriting from mono behavior, we're going to be inheriting from hub object. And in here we'll do a public um, text. We should do a public text actually. So using unity engine dot UI public text gold text public override now we're overriding the function on show and we'll do gold text dot text is equal to the tower dot instance dot currencies add the index int um what is it currency dot gold to string and this way we should actually fix all our problem we only need to swap the scripts now so back in the hub scene, I am going to go on tower stats and I'm going to put the hub object tower stats as you can tell up here. Now we have two of those, so of course we need to remove one of them, but the full, let's just make sure it has all the same components. Can I simply just, okay, so I'm going to click here. It shows me the tower stats waypoint, put it in my waypoint, click here, it shows me the tower stats menu, drag it inside of the menu, and now I gotta be finding the um, the actual text of it. So I'll take my tower stats menu, put the alpha on the one, and I'll just hide the one in the back, which I think is the share menu. So I'll hide this one. Okay, and I basically need this text over here, the one nine nine five for something. So here it is, amount of gold, and that's what we need to put inside of the tower stats gold text. So amount of gold, we drag it in here and we can finally delete our hub object. Now let's try this out. Hopefully we haven't broken anything. And it still works like it used to. And as you can tell down here, it's not actually showing the uh, showing war table thing. It, it's not actually doing that with the tower stats, which means we were successful in overriding the last function. So we can go back to the hub object. We know that this works. We don't need to have anything in here anymore. We can just leave it as the empty virtual function. And uh, yeah, so let's try this out. If I didn't break my game, I broke my game because I pretty much modified the script while it was running. So let's try again. And here it is. So 
right now we have 300 gold we're gonna go ahead and just sell something so sell the rocks we should be at 450 and it says 450 up here good time so we managed to fix this problem as well guys and if we just click on that button to get a ton of gold go back here we actually see that ton of gold alright guys so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope it helped you and um, we managed to fix some error if you like this video, please leave it a like, really appreciate that. If you'd like to support on Patreon, please do so. The links are everywhere on the channel. And if you have any comment or question, you can leave them in the comment section below. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.